Hey everybody, this is an episode of TJ's Garage. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I'm down south in Florida. Um, I'm now down here in the winter. So I decided to gut my shower and redo everything. And what I noticed is these manufactured homes down here have two by three walls, which means if you notice, there's no niches in, in the walls, which is basically a little enclosure to put all your shower stuff in. And it's because the walls are two by three, they're not two by four. And a niche will need four inches of clearance. So what I decided to do is add my uh, corner shelves after the fact, which uh, these are nine inch marble corner shelves that match pretty much everything here in the shower. I got these off Facebook Marketplace. So there's a bunch of different methods to mounting these on the internet. And some of them have systems where they have notches in the side of the um, shelf, which you put uh, plastic wafers in. You line them up here and notch out your wall with a diamond blade. Put your wafer in, glue them according to the uh, specifications, and you set your shelf in there and it should stay fine once the glue hardens with the wafers. But if you're not really good with a saw, a dry saw or an oscillating saw, and you screw up, eh, you might mess up your towel, then you're gonna start over again or if you don't want to spend 50 or 60 bucks just for one shelf. Now I bought these uh, 10 bucks a piece on Facebook Marketplace. And like I said, there's different methods out there of putting them on. Another method was physically marking your tile or your corner shelf on the tile, cutting it out, removing the piece of tile and sliding your shelf in and then caulking it, which is fantastic. And I'm sure it'll work great, but you screw up your tile. Like I said, if you're not good with a saw, and you screw up your tile, you're gonna be in a bad way. So there's a better way than doing this. It's very simple. So you get your shelf, and anybody can do this after the fact. So if you wanna go home right now and mount the shelf, it'll work. So what I did was, I got a couple of angle brackets, four inch angle brackets from the hardware store. I put a dab of silicone on here, and then I duct taped it first. Made sure these two were level. After 24 hours, after the silicone hardened, I took my shelf, I got me some heavy duty epoxy. Now the epoxy that I chose to use was uh, this Gorilla Glue. Now I'm not getting paid by Gorilla to, to endorse this or anything, but this is what I found to be the best because it's water resistant. It has the highest um, uh, PSI load and it, went, it works just fine. So I mixed my two part epoxy, ran a bead along each side of the tile, slid it on top of my brackets and just pushed it till the glue falls out the side. Let it sit for 24 hours. Then untape your bracket. Like I said, it's just a dab of silicone. Take it out and your shelf is there and it's strong. Okay, you just scrape this off with a single edge razor, which I have right here. You can see it comes right off. Leaves no residue, nothing. Just like that. Now what you're going to do is, afterwards, to give it even more strength, say your walls aren't 90 degrees perfectly, if there's a gap, I got my color match tile, or grout um, caulk, which matches the tile grout, which is warm gray. This tile grout is warm gray. And I just caulked my seams on the top, and then I will caulk them on the bottom, and that will add even more strength. So if you ever want to do this, you go home and just say, hey, I want to add some shelves. It's simple. It's extremely strong. Now, another way to do this is a lot of people put tape for the bead of caulk. Basically, what you'll do is you'll run your bead through the tape, wet your finger, run your finger over the bead, and right away pull your tape up. You'll have a perfect bead of caulk, and that will strengthen, additionally, strengthen your shelf. So between the epoxy resin, your color match grout, which is basically silicone, um, and this system here, as you can see underneath, this shelf is almost dry. Okay, level these out first, like I said, dab a silicone, tape it on there, and if you have to level it with your torpedo level, use toothpicks to make it perfectly level. And that's it. Um, these shelves are extremely strong. Now, without these here, 
you're going to end up putting everything on the floor, your shower or your shampoo, your soap and everything. But I'll be adding two more to the other side tomorrow and I'll be using my same heights and my same dimensions to transfer everything to this side with the same situation, which is basically four inch angle brackets, one on each side with a dab of silicone duct tape until it's hardened for 24 hours and you put in your shelf. Now you got shelves. So there you go. You want to know what it's going to look like? Here's my other bracket. It'll come right off because you only have a bead of silicone on there. Pull it off. Your shelf is in place. Take your silicone off with your single edge razor like that. All your tape comes off like that. Tape residue. And now you got a brand new shelf. So don't be afraid of doing this after the fact. You can, I could have added four or five shelves if I wanted to. Two on each side is fine. It's simple, it's fast, it's effective, and it's ridiculously strong. That's all. Thanks.